All right, I was walking through the, my floor, and my feet were sifting through the crap that's in my room, and bam, my foot hit something. Check it out. Haven't seen this thing in a while. Cool, huh? 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 Review time. Um. Okay, th this movie I saw was uh, is produced by Johnny Knoxville. You can kind of tell it's the Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia, and this is something that totally missed the mark. Um, what I like, and this is a like a genre that I really dig, is the character documentary. Um. If you ever seen, if you want to see good character documentaries, see either Crumb, The Cruise, American Movie. Check any of those out. Those are classics, in my opinion. Um, this is not a classic. Um, it's not a classic. I live in West Virginia. I'm in Huntington, uh, maybe one of the biggest cities in West Virginia, and uh, this is the movie focused on family in the called the Whites, who are have a, a minor celebrity status because uh, the Whites are are akin to Jesco White, who is the dancing outlaw. He has PBS specials, so but he's just this guy who does dances in public to a uh, different musical artists and bars and stuff. He tap dances. And um and the documentary is just on this family. Just this one week, and is it? They kind of picked a better week because a lot of crazy crap goes down this one week. Uh, but, it, but it shows you how all these it, lots of things happen. Um, one of the family members has a baby. The baby turns out to be addicted to drugs because the mother was on drugs. The baby gets taken away. A uh, family member dies during the shooting of the documentary. Um, person is sentenced to, to a, a sentence in jail among other things and instead of showing you the like the the relatable and likable aspects of this family shows you how sort of brain damaged these rednecks are and how blissful and their ignorance they are and that's it and you know I I laughing at someone I mean if you just the movie sort of pretends the uh, the not to uh to have respect for this family just so the family doesn't get pissed um but the but you can tell there's a sense of humor going on where you're just laughing at the family the entire time like um the mother snorting pills right after her baby gets born in the hospital uh the and then when her baby gets taken away from her she's She's uh, sitting on a toilet in a bar uh, with a disgusting tank top, big bright red lipstick, and glitter on her eyes in a in a, in a bun, sitting on a toilet, snorting pills off the toilet tank, saying, uh, looking at the camera, going, "Well, my favorite Bible verse is," <laughs> you know, just stuff that makes you want to stick your head under the seat in the theater when you, if you're a West Virginian, you're like, "Oh no." <laughs> And there's a part that shows uh, Jessica White getting a tattoo of Elvis and Charles Manson on his back. The showed a different size of his personality. Sort of shows that he's sort of crazy, like an like insane. And the point of this movie is that uh, this is like the most concentrated and most upfront example of a West Virginian. Like, there were these really sad, pessimistic, poor people who just want to live, live the miserable lives that we have and just having fun, just doing drugs and all that. And to an extent, it's true, but these people are really insane, really brain damaged. You, you shouldn't use these people as examples, really. 
I, uh, I can't even begin to explain how the logic in every one of their sentences, this family, just baffles you. Um, like, some, some of the family members talk in this really warbled Boone County accent, you can hardly understand what they're saying. Uh, Kirk White is like, uh, if you start crapping me, uh, I, I fight you. <laughs> oh, it's just, uh, if you, but, that's what, what, to me, what a good character documentary. It shows the person and its eccentric qualities to you up front. So you have to digest them along with all the good qualities. And all this is is just an ignorance is bliss to these people and look how happy they are. They're just parting until they die and go to hell. And, yeah. I say watch something else. I'm, I'm not giving this a very good review. I mean, not even in quality of my of critiquing it. Um, it's just not worth really talking about. I think the I think the the trailer for this movie is probably better because you just laugh at it for two minutes at these crazy people, and then yeah, that's it. So that's all I'm gonna say about that movie. Um, see any other character documentary? It's not very good. Not very focused. It's not. It's it's only yeah, there's really sick humor, and uh, because you see the person behind the camera telling telling really sick jokes about this family, like one, like the family member who gets her baby taken away from her, she's going on a drunk night to get her mind off of it, and then they showed the showed the cam in the bar they showed a the camera zoom up to a to a poster in the back that says beware of fetal alcohol syndrome. And you just go, oh, the irony. Oh, this family is so stupid. And, yeah, and being from West Virginia, I can't laugh at it. Because I know they're, they're saying, these are West Virginians, y'all. Look at all these crazy people. And it's one re redeemable thing about this movie, for me. Uh, it is entertaining, but uh, one in, one redeemable fa one big redeemable factor after seeing movies like uh, We Are Marshall and yeah, seeing the TV show uh, Jamie Oliver's Food it, uh, Food Revolution, this movie really ma feels like West Virginia. You watch this movie and you feel like you're there. You feel like this is what you can really see the 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 culture and the feelings of these people. Um, you feel like you're in West Virginia, but it's not like all studio produced and looks like you know, like a like a reality TV set on on We Are Marshall. It it just doesn't look the same in those shows. Um, but I but it, if you want is if you if you're that interested in seeing what West Virginia looks like and and seeing uh, the little universe, I, I bet it looks different and I bet it not. Because when I saw Old Joy, when they show Oregon, it looks pretty much the same as West Virginia. Uh, it might be a little flatter than West Virginia, but, yeah, um, that's all I gotta say about it. Well, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to vote in the last video like. See ya. Well, I've got a lot to say. Speech, you'll only see it in the structure of skin of second hand smoke. You know that it's a joke, you know that.